Starting with this picture of clouds, I'm just going to add a colour balance adjustment. And I want to bring a lot of reds and magentas in the highlights. And some reds in the shadows as well. I'm adding the HSL adjustment and I'm bringing down the saturation just a little bit. I've then just added a fill layer with the colour pink and I've put the blend mode on soft light and I'm just bringing down the opacity. And then I'm adding a brightness and contrast adjustment and just bringing the contrast up as well as the brightness. And then adding a mask layer, I'm going to drag from the top down to the bottom with the bottom colour on black and the top colour on white. And this will just help it blend into the clouds. And then still on that mask layer, I'm just using the paintbrush with the colour on black again. And I'm just painting away some of it so there's not a harsh line. And then adding another colour balance adjustment for the sunset. I'm just going to bring some reds and magentas into that again. And same with the shadows. And then adding a pixel layer, I'm going to colour select that dark part of the cloud. And I'm going to change that to soft light and bring the opacity down. And then adding another pixel layer, I'm just going to select the highlights of the sky and paint that over the clouds. And again, I'm just changing that to soft light and bringing the opacity down. And then adding another pixel layer with the same colour I had selected from last time, I'm just going to paint over the sky just to create more light and then I'm going to change that to screen. I'm just using this picture of a PNG rock blend and I'm just adding a HSL adjustment and bringing the saturation down and the luminance up a little bit. And then adding a colour balance adjustment, I'm just going to do the same thing and bring some Red some magentas into it. And 
And then I'm going to rasterize that picture and add a fill layer and I'm going to drag that onto the rock using the same pink and change that to soft light and then bring the opacity down. Tool, I'm just going to resize it And then adding a mask layer, I'm going to select a cloud brush and with the colour on black I'm just going to paint away some of the bottom of the rock. And then I'm just doing the same again but with a different cloud brush. woman on the bench that I've already cut out. I'm going to add a HSL adjustment and bring the saturation down and the luminance up. And then adding a brightness and contrast adjustment, I'm just going to bring the contrast up and the brightness down just a little bit. And then we're going to add a colour balance adjustment and just do the same thing that I've done before. Just add more reds into the picture. And then I'm going to rasterize that and add a fill layer we're using that same pink and drag that on top and again just change that to soft layer. And then just add another HSL adjustment and bring the saturation down. Adding a mask layer, I'm just going to select a grass brush and paint away the bottom of the bench. And then rasterizing that picture again. And I'm just going to start adding some highlights and shadows to the woman. So using the pixel layer and selecting the bright point of the sky, I'm just going to paint over the areas where the light would hit. And 
going to change that to soft light. And then add another pixel layer and select in the dark part of the cloud. I'm going to paint over where the shadows would be. I'm going to change that to multiply and bring the opacity down. And then adding the pixel layer onto the rock, I'm just going to do the same thing. HSL adjustment onto the woman, I'm just bringing the saturation up. And then using a pixel layer, I'm just going to create some more light in the sky. And then change that to screen. I'm just adding some more shadows to the woman again. And changing that to colour burn.
The Rock and the Woman in the same group so I can edit them together. And then I'm duplicating that group and adding an exposure adjustment. I'm going to bring the exposure all the way down. And I'm then flipping that around. And then I'm adding a Gaussian blur. And I'm also adding a perspective filter and just dragging that out. So now I'm just going to lower the opacity. Just drawing these lines on the rock to show the shadow from the bench. I want this tree to look like it's coming through the clouds so I'm just going to add a mask layer and using the fill tool dragging from the top to the bottom I'm going to put the colour on black and the top colour on white and it's just going to help give it that fade. Then adding the fill layer with that pink, again I'm just going to change that to soft light. And then adding the HSL, I'm just bringing the luminance up. Then I'm duplicating that tree and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the rock and the woman. Brought in these pictures of bed and flipping them around to face through the direction. Then I'm rasterizing them and then adding a fill layer with that same pink again and changing that to soft light. Then 
gonna add a mask layer onto the shadow of the tree. I'm just gonna paint away some of the edges. And I'm gonna do the same with the rock. I'm just adding some more light into the picture again. And then, then I'm painting around the edges of the picture just to create some shadow. Just adding some contrast to the woman and I'm bringing the brightness down and I'm dragging that up so it affects the woman and the rock. And I just added a depth of field glare and I want to make sure that the woman and the tree are in the, the main circle to draw attention to them. Just adding another fill layer and I'm changing that colour to a very dark red and then I'm going to change it to soft light. And then I'm just going to paint away some of it in the centre. Bench is a bit of a weird line where the colour is different. So I'm just going to copy the lighter colour and paint it over. I'm 
and then add another fill layer and I want the top left corner to be a light yellow orange and I want the bottom right colour to be a dark blue. And I'm just going to bring the exposure up. Then I'm going to finish the picture by removing some from the bottom.